Ready, go! <laughs> I told you they would come! <laughs> This morning we visited a farm and we got two new goats and I am so excited to show them to you because they're amazing. So I realized that when I started to record I didn't really do an intro or anything so you're gonna see us in this next clip at my friend Nicole Davis's family farm. They've been raising goats for years and they're just kind of recently moving away from them so it was the perfect way to get a goat. So I'll let you watch this and then We'll come back and, and show them here now in the evening and show how they're doing. Oh, so pretty. Oh, they are pretty. Pink are the ones I'm keeping their colors. Okay. And these ones are the ones for summer. So, um, obviously we're looking for good milking lines. So, out of those three, which would you say? I've never milked them. They're all yearlings. Their moms, though, were both these two, were both phenomenal. Okay. Nice teeth, straight teeth, straight down. Um, definitely hers, especially in the peach one super easy to melt okay like. okay good but hers was just right there under hers okay this one we bought from someone else okay and I've actually got pictures of her her dire uh, Dan and sire okay sire, if you want to see them probably can I go in there and yes I mean they all probably can, be fine they're friendly <laughs> yeah well that's what you want enjoy <laughs> well I actually did on purpose I sold all the moms and kept all the babies because I wanted them friendly yeah that's the way to do it I know yeah, not her, it's her. And then she's more very shy, mellow. She's not as friendly you. as the other This ones. one isn't yeah. as friendly? Yeah. But we didn't we got her when she was six or eight, six months old. Yeah, but she's not horrible. No, I mean like she's not, not running she's actually away. Really good when you bring her out, we just yeah. trimmed hooks yesterday. Um when you pulled her out, she's so like just goes, like she's trained already. I'm like, that's yeah. So what I just I'm just feeling for is just a little bit of like the teeth. Her her length is a little bit longer. This one, okay. Compared they both to have the same dad. Okay. Her moms were longer than. Very similar. They're very similar, but her mom. She's was being different. very naughty right now. <laughs> <laughs> we sold the one that was like the boss. Now they're <laughs> changing up their dynamic. Cause she's pretty. She's pretty cool. She's pretty chill. I like her. She's sweet. I like her coloring, and she's her her teats felt good. Um, I, I'm only trying to think of the dominance of them. Let's see, so now I'm just trying to decide. I definitely like her a lot. I think she's a good personality. She's not She's not bad either. Um, what do you think about uh, the personalities and like the dominance, Kevin, with our with the goats? Oh, I think Hold this our for a goats second. would do good with anyone. I think everybody just works it out, which is fine. Yeah. Oh, you're very sweet. You're already like crouching down for me. I mean, it is really rare. Let me tell ya, it is really rare <laughs> to have a goat crouch down when you're sitting there touching their teeth, especially a junior doe that's never been milked. So I kind of like that about her. She is more dominant, so she's gonna be a little, she'll probably be the leader. All right, whoa, this is crazy. This is awesome. So Nicole, this is Nicole of Davis Family Farms and you, yeah, you used to be like the, the, the yeah. farm girl and doing all the farm stuff yeah. and now it's kind of transitioned more to herbs. Yeah, I worked on the animals and used herbs to heal them and then started catching on what it can do for a body. And so cool. I healed myself and then started selling other people and this was not planned. This just kind of came out of nowhere and awesome. here I am teaching everyone how to heal their bodies. So cool. cool, I love it. Oh man, and so you're gonna create a store, like an online store too, maybe? It's already online. Oh, now. great. Okay, yeah. I'll link to it then. In our car seat, we always show up to pick up cars, <laughs> and they're like, uh, where are you gonna put it? I'm like, they're like they oh, we're fine. <laughs> we're like, good. Box, Back the car. Box, but... <laughs> yeah, totally. Oh, oh that one has to lay down because it's smaller. <laughs> <laughs> They still have each other too. They yeah, will. That'll be, be. They'll be fine. They'll have each other. And they have nice, lots of shade. Nice green grass. It'll be good. Good stuff. All right. All right. We're headed home with two adorable goats. Kevin did a good job. He, he wasn't as excited as I was, but I was really excited because this these goats are really good stock. And I'll talk more about it when we get home. We got. One goat for you and one goat for Ethan. You got two? <laughs> 
Ethan, you gotta help too in case. Come on, Dolores. Is that her name? <laughs> no, we're right. me and Dad were thinking of names. <laughs> Cause she already has a name and we don't we don't like it as much. We want to name her. What is it? Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. You're gonna have to probably just pull her. Oh my gosh. Yeah, there you go. Keep going. Oh man, I'm so glad we have an Ethan. <laughs> you, okay, oh wait, we're gonna go all the way over here. I know, she's probably like, what is going on? Oops, sorry. sorry. Oh, oh, oh. Okay, open the gates, Liddy. Scoot them over, scoot the goats over. Oh. <laughs> Stand up. Stand up, you got it. All right, there's the first meeting. Oh, they're all gonna be really. There, you gotta establish the herd order. Oh, I love them. They're so pretty. I love that one. I know. Look at little Tilly. She's just like, are you gonna be my Have friend? Have they been or... bred before? No, nope. we're gonna breed them. Look, all four together. We have a lot of goats. They're different colors too. Oh, I love it. Look how pretty they all are. Makes me so happy. Are we gonna bring food back here? Yeah, we'll bring food and water. We're just gonna leave them in here while they get used to each other for a couple days and then we'll let them out. Just for a couple days. They need they need their space so that the goats don't um, just they just drive them crazy. They'll just sniff them and try to headbutt them. They need a little more peace and quiet as they get used to this place. Yeah, they're super sweet. Isn't she so pretty, that peach one? So, when you introduce a goat to a new herd, you definitely need to make sure that you separate them first because this is the best way for them to introduce each other is through a fence, usually. We didn't do that with Tilly when we brought her home because she's a baby and we knew that the older ones would be nice to her. Yeah. Um, but, you know, for the most part, yeah. <laughs> they want so bad, look at them. You guys really want to get in there and bug them, don't you? <laughs> She tries. She tries. She tries to be a tough one. <laughs> so it is gorgeous. It's about 5.30. It's all shady. It's the best time because our entire backyard is shaded. Ha, oh, gotta love all these trees, right? And over here are our new goats. I keep wanting to say baby goats, but they're not babies. Huh. They are not babies. They're sweet though. They've got pretty blue eyes. Look at this one. Look how pretty she is. And over here, step over my own goats to get over here. Look at you. You're so pretty too. You're gonna get used to this camera, huh? You saw us pick these up earlier trying to decide on which one and we ended up with these two. I'm so happy with the choice because they're just, they've got really great personalities and they're really sweet. But he played with Tilly so she doesn't bug me. It's like, watch the baby so she doesn't bug me right now. So these two are just so pretty. They have blue eyes, they have really good genetics. Look at them. Oh, you gonna put your head through there? They're half sisters. So they have the same mother, different dads. So that means it's gonna bring in totally different lines, which is what we want. Whenever I see somebody that is selling their goats that has to get rid of them, Usually they just, um, they really need to condense their herd in a big way or maybe they're moving away from goats or maybe they're moving or something like that. Those are the best situations because you're gonna get their favorite goats. When they're babies, you can get really good, really good stock. But when they're adults like this, it's usually because they're, they're like the rejects. So whenever I see somebody selling an adult doe, just one adult doe, I kind of know that that's, that's not the best milker of the group or that's not the best one out of all of theirs. Maybe it kicks a lot at the stand. Maybe she doesn't produce a lot. Maybe she doesn't do very good maybe she's hard to get pregnant so I usually have a lot of caution when I'm getting an adult dose so what we were looking for were some adult does we were looking for a yearling which means that they are at least a year old ready to be bred and that's exactly what these girls were 
and it was from a friend who really just needed to condense her herd because she's moving away from these goats. So I knew I was gonna get the best high quality. I knew she was feeding them amazing, healthy food. So I had to jump on it. We've got four different solid good lines from some of the best farms in this area. So it's gonna be really great. We're gonna have some amazing babies this year and we're actually gonna look into shipping them or selling them on my website as well. Now we just need your help to name them. So we're taking, currently taking suggestions. Usually goats, especially registered goats, have really long names. So she is, this is something, 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 Trixie. <laughs> this is something, 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 peaches and cream. And so we usually name our goats some kind of nickname. Penny's actual real name is something, 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 Red Lotus, Kylon, you know, some, yeah, they're really long, but we like to give them our own little nicknames because it's a lot easier to just have that nickname. Um, so yeah, what do you think? I mean, we could go really old school and name them, you know, Dolores. Sometimes we do movies, we'll do like Hermione. Well, she's Luna from um, Harry Potter. Oh yeah! I know! She's really derpy and weird. So, I don't know, whatever you guys, uh, we're looking for suggestions. Whoa! <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> She's not gonna let you walk up there, watch. She's gonna walk in front of you. Oh no, she... <laughs> no, she's not gonna do She's Luna. She's not gonna do anything. She's all riled up because these other goats are here. Her position is being threatened. Let's both run. Let's run. Just a little bit. <laughs> I told you they would come. Okay, run back. Man, Luna, you are fired up. Penny's over here just like. Oh, that's all work out. Did we make you work out, man? Oh, that'll get the pounds off. <laughs> How to lose weight in, in, goat, in goat world. <laughs> in the goat world. She doesn't need to lose weight. She's just a little bloated. Well, no, she's I not bloated anymore. Well good. You are very... She likes you more than me, man. You milk her and so she sees... I think she likes Ethan best. Okay. Let's see. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh, these goats. 